It's been a severe lack of Greg this episode. I That's know. All I'm saying. Yeah. Greg is levity. There's no levity today. Hey. The Normies are here to watch the season one finale of Succession. My name is Serge. I'm Rana. My name is Chris. I'm Nikki. And I'm Pat. No, you know, we, we started a season without Pat and we're ending it without Pat. I know, poor Pat is sick. You know, when it's flu season, you're always going to see reactors shuffle in and out of here. Quick, come with the mic. I have to I'm sorry. Did what you is... hit her like a child? <laughs> <laughs> when it's flu season, there's always going to be someone missing from the couch. Yeah. Maybe we'll try to like, next year we'll try to like backlog things more in advance so we anticipate all the illnesses. But I caught up to the last two episodes last night, back Ooh. to back. Yeah. Uh, Tom's bachelor party was a hilarious shit show. <laughs> it was. Yes. So two guys that didn't get in, like, you're leaving. Oh, yeah. the fly guy. Oh, yeah, the fly guy. The fly guy. <laughs> the fly guy. Oh. No one gave a shit about Tom's actual bachelor party, but he swallowed his own cum, so there's that. Yeah. And then there was the he nuptials. Had to, he had to see her again, though, which was, like, the best oh, party. Yeah. <laughs> that is weird. Why would Roman do that? That's Roman. That Roman is... Thinks, thinks he's playing with the big boys. No one is really giving a shit about what he's actually doing. I'm pretty sure Roman's gay. <laughs> he oh, is. 100%. He's gay, I'm like, yeah. and, and he was just like, I don't know, this lady's nice. They don't fuck with Tom. <laughs> the yeah. dad just showing up, like, and he, that hurt his pride, I bet, showing up in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, it was, that was so weird. Like, they both wanted, it felt like he wanted to be there, but he was looking for excuses to not. Yeah, uh -huh. and because he was waiting for her. So yeah, he, he fucked like, up. He yeah. pulled it as a punishment, even though she was like, I'm not going to. Yeah, she called his bluff. Come. And I was like, all right, I guess we have no choice. Yeah. <laughs> the mom was cool. We got to meet their mom, too, finally. She was uh, cool? She's, no, she's just a fucking as, piece of work. Well, yeah. We all fucked up. At first, I was like, oh, she seems nice. And then she's over here like, I love how your parents can't stop telling people about how much they paid for this For the wine. wine. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or do you think their marriage, how many years do you give their marriage? How long yeah. do you give it? How long do you give it? <laughs> and then Greg continues to see everything. And Tom doesn't care. Greg Tom, knows at all. this point, Tom knows, yeah. right? Or like has a high suspicion, but he, I mean he knows, he but doesn't, he doesn't care. Yeah, she had the opportunity. He wants in on his family. She had the opportunity <laughs> to tell him right there in the room. I bet he still would have married her, but yeah. it's fine. And she got booty. I mean, they're there for she money. She got booty. Yeah, you see, she's a little bit ass. We 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 were surprised oh. by oh, yeah. the behind you know, of shit. Yeah. You know, she's British, and so is Tom. British. They both. Tell, I was at watching the inside of the episode, and it's like, and it seems Tom's character is uh is uh actually he doesn't care. And then Shabon's actress, I think her name is like. Sissy, 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 something with an S. Sarah Sook. Sarah Sook. And she was all like, yeah, it turns out that, like, you know, one, one person's actually on top of the relationship, and it's, it's not Tom. <laughs> 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 I just never would have expected them to be British. Uh, British actors do, British. They do yeah. such a good job with yeah. American accents. Yeah. Not the other way around, though. No, not the other way around. Oh, fucking water bottle. You want a bottle of water? Not a market substitute. Support the official release. Uh, we got uh, early access season two on Patreon already. This whole show is on Patreon, actually. And uh, don't worry if you're having a bad day, you're having a rough go of it. Uh, it's going to get better, mate. I promise you. <laughs> Jamie, to was do that Australian? That was Australian. Right? Did I slide into Australian yeah. at the end? Sometimes oh, you slide shit. into an Aussie. And go! Rolls Royce, old AF. It looks so cute. I love that. Literal castle, y'all. He blows. Fake. It's good to demonize the enemy before yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. It's good to demonize him before you have to kill his ass. Siblings and partners. Just so you know, I want Willet in this. Is that appropriate? Connor. No, tell, tell guys, I'm doing the same thing. Remind me to tell you in discussion. It's not going to be problematic. No, it won't be problematic. Connor, you're an idiot. What does it call, girl? Not anymore. Me and <laughs> sometimes I might come out and hurt my profile or Tom's profile. And I want to be horrible, but come on, you get it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you don't allow it, I'm gonna punch Tom in the face and I'm gonna rip my shirt open, I'm gonna take a fucking dump on the ground, I'm gonna go ape shit because she's the woman I love. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I remember when I felt indifferent about him and I hate him. Now. Oh man, I knew I didn't like him from the get go. Okay, oh god. Uh, Especially in the bachelor she, party. She sucked his cock. He's he kept fucking telling every woman he uh, he loved them at the bachelor party. Yeah. Uh, Roman, I'll take that one, but can we do a serious one for the pair? <laughs> one, two, three. Oh god. <laughs> so I'm doing two separate. So we're, we're doing family photos at my wedding. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna allow Tom's sister's boyfriend to be in the photos. Mm -hmm. But then I'm taking one without him in my photos because if they break up, I don't want him forever in my photo album like that. It's my photo album. It's my wedding photos. Okay. So right. I totally get it. 
Okay. Yeah. No. That's not the same thing as having a call girl. Well, no, that's, I mean, just people in no, their pictures. Think we get what she's saying. Tom's sister's boyfriend is a hooker. No. <laughs> He's actually a really cool dude. I love Justin a lot. Actually. Justin Hooker. Not enough to have him in your wedding photos, though. Right. I mean, if he gets married to her, she'll be he'll be permanently in the album. If you they worry don't, that she... he licks her butt for money. Have you seen that How I Met Your Mother episode <laughs> where like Lily's like, "We're gonna play Who's That Bitch," <laughs> and it's like every time they take a Christmas photo, it's like, "Who's this bitch?" That exactly. Plays with? <laughs> I guess the only question left is this: Who actually is gonna deliver it to him? Wait, are you serious? Well, we have to make certain that he has had eyes on it. Yeah, I know, but I assumed you. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't know he's getting his hands dirty. Seriously? I mean, I mean, Jess could do it. (laughs) (laughs) You'll email Jerry and the board? Yeah, just tell me when it's delivered. What, you don't think I can deliver it? No, it's just only 15% of men, when it comes to it, actually shoot an undefended enemy soldier. He shot first. This dude literally will not get his oh hands God, dirty. It's so, so funny. Intense. Don't do it, Kendall. I don't want him to do what? it, actually. He kind of has to. Doesn't matter yeah. anymore. He just had a fucking tenderly sibling moment with Shiv and Roman. Now he's going to do this. At the wedding? To all of them. At the wedding, too. I bet... Is Logan going to respect this? She got, got it. Got it. Thank God. Oh, Logan definitely would. Because here's the thing. Logan's like, go for the throat. Be as ruthless as possible. Fuck family. Logan, it's Kendall. Go on through, son. Do you maybe want to come out, Dad? I'm not on the cam. Bro, you're really doing this, dude. Besides, I want to have This isn't a nice thing, I'm afraid. Oh. Read this. Oh. I'm not gonna fucking read it. <laughs> a proposal to buy Waystar for $140 a share. We're asking you to come to the table, open the books. Uh-huh. Oh. Is this a fucking bear hug? That's right. Dang. No. Well, fine. Uh, we have the financing. I think uh, this is just the way it has to be with us. Is he about to punch him? I'm not, not sorry for what I'm doing, which is correct. I'm sorry for how it makes you feel. Damn. See, I'm Logan would never be this nice. Be here. No. Fuck off. Oh. Marsha! What is it? Bearhug. It makes sense. See? It's not a good position I'm in. By tomorrow, I need I need a lot of things I don't have. Yeah, money. So much money. Got him digging out the toilet. Even Logan's not above just doing things for the appearance. And then just, you know, going to date out of the toilet after he leaves. That's Marsha's. That's Marsha's son, right? Yeah. Yeah. What would you gonna do, Bubba? Would it help if it was a rocket full of Muslim granola? Oh, Bubba, no. I just don't want a rocket at my wedding. Stop being a kid. Oh, I'm I'm Shiv. Oh, I'm an adult, and I'm important because I work for a man with glasses. <laughs> Dropped a hard J. You gotta say the whole word. You used to be fun. When did you become one of them? One of who? Like dancey bullshit. Like oh, you can't say that kind of people. When like she's working for a political yeah, candidate. N word, B word, C word. Yeah. So the world isn't fucking nursery school, and people don't like to be taught. Oh, Bro, right. Roman well, is the worst too. I'm sorry. You shouldn't do that. Not with your IQ. Oh, hardy, did he hard hard? Streaming. It's connecting. Right? Yeah. Okay, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, wish everyone luck, okay? I got one phone for watching the rocket, and one phone for making the call. God, if this rocket explodes, I'm gonna mm. shit straight through the couch. Please. Oh! Through the couch! <laughs> Were people on there? No. It was a satellite. Okay, oh, satellite, satellite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his whole, that was his whole thing! <laughs> He's not going to be asking people how they thought the launch went now. <laughs> no one even cared before, but now they will. Oh now God. they will. The one thing you were in charge of, man. Oh, his ass not even think about it right now with all fucking Kendall shit. Is it his fault? Like, <sighs> If a rocket explodes, it's a hundred people's fault, man, but still. You're being used, you idiot. Drinks, drinks, drinks. Oh, it's been used on both sides. Well, at least he thinks he's got control here. Yeah, until the rug is pulled from under him. 
I bet that shit went to an additional printer. <gasps> what? Hey, baby. It's line time. Hello. Celebration. Don't Celebration. do this to him. You fucking Your dickhead. kids are here. What an enabler, bro. Man. Oh, my God. This guy's worse. Giving oh. him drugs. Make him do all the dirty work. Yeah. Everything. And he wants him to stay on that shit so that when time comes, those Canadian investors or whatever are not going to want to fuck with him. Look at you. Logan, for tonight, shall we... Uh, oh, for tonight. For tonight. <laughs> Yo, if I was doing, bro, I'd be shitting my pants. Jerk! Well, you did, you fucking prick. Go on, fuck off. Get out of here. Fuck off! Fuck off! I don't want to see him again. Ever. Ever. Okay? We need to... You're getting face surgery, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he'll wear a, a mustache and you won't even know. You put a brown paper bag over your face. Maybe you look across this. I've had 40 calls about the launch. No, that's weird. I haven't gotten any, I think. Yeah, it blew up. It blew up? Yes, it exploded on the launch pad. It's weird. Um, yeah, wow, they really should have told me that. That's um, how uh, bad is it? Is it bad? <laughs> I'll reiterate. It exploded <laughs> <laughs> on the launch pad. Are there like um, uh, people? Dead people? Yeah. Well, I don't know. That yes, like... I mean, the scale means there's likely casualties. Oh, God. Because mm -hmm. I did put a lot of pressure to accelerate the launch, even though there were concerns. Ooh. Why would you do that? It is 100% your fault. I mean, I just thought it would be nice for it to happen on Shiv's wedding day, like fireworks, like big fireworks. Hey, yeah. You got that right. And Shiv didn't even want it. She didn't even give a fuck. You're looking at potential corporate men. <laughs> Oh my god, go take 50 shots, my dude. God, these people are horrible. Oh. Well, you know, worth it actually to get yelled at. Really? How much he's about to get paid? This is probably a really good job that he's paying. I'll find another catering job. At the castle? Yeah, I, we're in Europe. Many castles. <laughs> <laughs> Boring, black and white, sterile ass fucking outfits. Thank Typical you. American ass money. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> when you say what you want to about the excesses of an Indian wedding, it's colorful as fuck, man. Yeah, definitely. And I wanted it to be perfect, perfect for shit. And it is. No one, no one. <laughs> it's uh, wonderful to be surrounded by those that we love, trust, and hold very dear. Because Twisted. there is nothing more important than, than family. family. Than family. It's about so, family. To family. He's joking, right? <laughs> he knows who he's talking to. I don't feel to. like I'm losing a sister. I don't feel like I'm gaining a brother either. Uh, I don't feel anything. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I would, you know what? I'd like to thank my dad because I'm contractually obligated. Who wrote these jokes to them? <laughs> It's a white wedding with white jokes, Chris, what do you expect? So I just wanted to say that in public because I'm getting on and I might not be in good enough health to say it when you remarry. Go! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tom thought it was funny. He has to laugh. I, I just love saying the word wife. Uh, wife. Yeah. <laughs> fly boys, wife. fly boys. Oh. <laughs> Wife, 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 wife. Make this stop. I cannot hear them talk anymore. Can't. Couch, take me. We're back around an office now. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. And uh, I love you all. Oh, was actually sincere. Not no punched up written ass jokes from the newsroom. I know this looks boring, but it's really nice in there, guys. Like, there's just trees and chandeliers from the trees. No. I mean, yeah, it looks nice. It's just, I mean, it's stuffy. A wedding it's at a stuffy, castle yeah, would be fun, yeah, yeah. but also, like, these are some of the richest motherfuckers around. It definitely feels like a royal wedding. <laughs> this is something that needs to be photographed and talked about. The bachelor I, party, you can suck your own. Cup. I hate this guy. I hate his face. I hate how he talks, how he looks. Like, I, don't, I hate cute. everything about it. He looks like a weird BJ Novak. He's I don't know. He's cute. <laughs> H.J. Novak. H.G. Novak. I just spoke to Gil, and it sounds like... Well, he thought he was being very subtle and all, but something has happened, and I wondered what the fuck that was. I'm gonna make him win. I don't want to play the bleeding heart here, but there is a reason I work with him, and it's because of inequality. And oh, inequality. Well, if you can't handle it, then fuck off. Oh, Woo! The family words on their crest. Damn. Oh. And I'm gonna have two very grateful people: the vice president and my father. Yeah. Damn. You may be all about the 
inequality plight and all, but you didn't give a fuck about morals either, so. So what the fuck? Hmm? How could you? How could I not? It was out of my hands. Sure. <laughs> I, You're a real I, piece of work, man. I was forced into this position against my wishes. I, I didn't want to... Oh, poor Kendall. <laughs> fucking who? Dude, I'll answer any questions you have. Look, if this works, you'll all be very, very, very rich. And uh, I hate to say it, but maybe it's for the best for this to no longer be a family-run operation. Framing is great. For one thing, our inheritance mm -hmm. is all in stock. The lack of thought to do this to Dad today. This isn't about Dad. This is because you like the power. It gets you close to the hill. And Rome, you couldn't get a job in a fucking burger joint, let alone a Fortune 500 without some nepotism. And Con, you like the glamour it gives to a fucking freak show in the desert, okay? No, Kenny, I could just do with the assistance of the family firm on my ambitions to become president. I'm gonna eat my foot. You're all living in a fucking dream world. I'm sorry, man. Kendall is a fuck up, but Ken, he's got some points. Right? Show me the lie. He's got some points there. He's got some points. Like, what is this gonna be for eternity? How's the torture going? I don't have to. I, 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 I yeah. To go Leave. Out. You have that option. I still don't think he should have done this on the wedding day. He should have told Frank. It was forced. He should have told Frank. Yeah. That was his biggest mistake. So you don't think that you owe us an explanation? No! What have you had your entire life that I didn't give you? I'm not getting into it. You're getting into it. He's goaded. He's I'm doing this thing. I blame myself. Oh. I spoiled you. <laughs> and now, you're fucked. You're a fucking beast. He's the only one that can stand between his dad, though, which is crazy. Yeah. He's the only one that's doing it. Bro. The rest of them are cowering in his presence. That shit was mean in a way that I can't quite comprehend. Yeah, I know, like, right? Fuck like, what? Jesus. Coke time, baby. It's empty. Are we good, man? Yeah, I could just do it with a, a straightener. Yeah, just open. I don't have any. I hate this shit. I'm like, how many died? How many did it? Yeah, you didn't hear? No. Oh my god. Oh, Thank god. Lucky motherfucker. You guys lost thumbs and there might be an arm they can't save, but uh, they might. Oh my god. So, you, you, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you fucking Jesus. No, that's great. You, <laughs> you, you kind of need thumbs and an arm, my guy. <laughs> but comparatively to oh, corporate sorry. manslaughter. Guess who just didn't kill anyone? This guy. Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg! Yay, Gregory! Like the, the old shit, the nasty politics, the like the the stuff at the at the cruise lines. You know about that? Oh no. Because I helped clean it up, you know. But hey, so listen. Oh um, no. Do you know where I came from? No. No. He just gave you the line you needed to. This is why he's so fucking annoying, bro. It pisses me off. Yeah. A few key documents related to all that stuff. Listen, listen, Kendall. Anybody would be wise to keep me in a good role. Gregory. I know. To work for a Kendall after. Wow. Greg the motherfucking egg. <laughs> Greg the egg. He's Greg's ha he's smarter. Hatching, bro. He's always hatching. Uh, some guys smoke weed around the back, I think. You little Machiavellian fuck. So, you, so did he hear him? He yeah, did hear him. Yeah, yeah. Right, good. Yep, he heard him. Yo, honestly, Greg ain't stupid. He's not. He's, he's mm -hmm. actually making he smart He ain't stupid moves. at all. Greg just jumped into the Game of Thrones and he's playing. Yeah, he's... You know, I don't care about our plan. I didn't get married to you for the plan. I know that you're hard and you're tough, but I just want to get in. I want in. I want in on you. You know, let's go to, <laughs> let's go to fucking New Zealand and become sheep farmers. Oh, no. Yeah. She is not what she wants, bro. No, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> not now, not after you got married. You should have told him before. They ain't even signed all the paperwork yet. I've had a little number. You had a little number? Yeah. Was it 69? You know, because I thought we were both grown ups and we had an agreement. What agreement? You kind of had an agreement. Even a very grown up manner. Did we? Well, yeah. I mean, I always implied. Thought. Implications okay. are tough. You have to already say some things. Was it Nate? Obviously, it was Nate. Can I send him home? <laughs> yeah, sure. Good. Tom. Is this a move from her, though? <laughs> no, I think she's actually. Because she just got into it with Nate. Think? I'm just not sure I'm a good fit for a monogamous marriage. Bitch, you said I said that before. We literally just said <laughs> I do, my guy. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish we talked about this before our wedding night. <laughs> yeah. Me too. No. 
But in terms of the relationship, I'm just wondering if there's an opportunity for something different from the whole box set death march. The box set death march. That would have been yeah. a good title for this episode. You know, just a different shape of relationship. It could be exciting. It's exciting. Yeah. You know, because we've torn everything else down, right? Love is the last fridge magnet left. Right. How do you mean? Well, I mean that love is... It's just like 28 different things, and they all get lumped in together in this one sack, and it just looks really lovely and nice, but when you open it up... No, it's... no, you're right. It is. It's love. It's bullshit. I feel bad for Tom. All right. It's that boy's sad. I do love you. Damn. Fuck. Fuck. Profound sadness. So, like, what, what do you call this kind of sex? It's, huh? not, it's not like, you know... Like, so what have we agreed to here? Yeah, yeah like we didn't even say anything. We've agreed. Hey, can I get in? Hey, um, uh, we're just uh, Tom. Let's talking. go. Whatever. Yeah. There seems to be a, a little mix-up in your accommodation. I'm sorry, but there's nowhere for you to stay. Sure, I'll figure something out. Right, but it might be smart for you to, to leave directly, find something. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, bro. You slept with my wife. It's fine. Okay. Let's just keep things cool. I think you need to come home. He oh. is calm. If I ever see you in the same room as shit again, I will pay men to break your legs. <laughs> if I go to jail, which I won't, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna finish this. My mom and dad made a contribution to the wine. Uh, so I'd really rather you didn't drink anymore. Oh, I'm gonna smash this wine and I'm gonna piss in your car. Put it back. Fuck it. Talk Put it back! <laughs> Nate, drink it in front of his face. Put my fucking wine back now. Oh no! <laughs> oh, absolutely the fuck not! Whatever, I'm with Tom on this 100. percent Fuck this dude. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not about to be bullied by fucking Tom Wom's gang. <laughs> fuck it, you walked into he his has my, more money. my fucking wedding. Get the wife, fuck uh, out of my fucking also wedding. Also, more money. I don't oh, give a fuck. I'm not fuck you. saying against Tom. I'm saying for this little shit who came here knowing he fucked the wife. You still, you're not about to get bullied your way out. He's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Greg was like, "Good job, Tom." Yeah. Like I'm leaving, but I'm drinking the wine. <laughs> 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 Go Tom! Oh my god, the fucking Kendall! No, he didn't have a connection, he was the connection. Wait, hang, hang on. What is this? What is this? It's Molly, it's ketamine. Ketamine! Oh god. You about to dissociate, baby! He's gonna pass the fuck out! I mean, I, I know someone. It's, um, let's go for it. Is that cool? Okay, I don't, I don't know if I should drive right away. No, I can drive. Opposite side of the car, opposite side of the road. You got it? Oh, God. This motherfucker's going to jail in Scotland. It, foolish! You got a thing tomorrow! Idiots. Idiots all around. Just deal with <laughs> it. Okay, I'm fine. He's gonna fall asleep and not gonna be able to give you directions, homie. You're, You're just, about to be lost in so Scotland. Fucked. Oh, my God. Ugh. The train wreck in slow motion. It's, you can't look away. We're gonna get an accident, there's gonna be drugs in the car. K-hole. Well, you don't wanna get stuck in a K-hole on a good night, you know? <gasps> good, you know what? You don't oh, need and it's manual? Oh, you're fucked. You even drive, do you drive stick, homie? Uh, you okay, bud? Hey, Kendall, you're a full-blown addict. Kendall, let's it's just... not even worth it at this point, my guy. Let's leave, Kendall. Let's go back. Kendall, go back home. It's fine. He's fucked already. He's <gasps> yeah, this was inevitable. <laughs> yeah, it's not that tracks. Yeah. I'm not even surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not even surprised. Like, of course. Honestly, if they would have made it there and got the drugs and came back, this kid's that dead. Been, that would have been. That would have been. That been a surprise. He's, ketamine. Oh, they're fucked. He bumped his head. You saw that, right? Yeah, ketamine kid's dead. He's leaving them in his car. They're gonna have to oh, fake ketamine this. kid bumped his head? Yeah, I hard, didn't see that. hardcore. And Kendall's not saving him. Because I don't think he put his seatbelt back on when he came in the car. Well, now he has committed. Well. See, are drugs worth it? Is this murder? This isn't murder. This is just. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If he doesn't say he anything. He doesn't call somebody. He doesn't try to help. Unless... It's manslaughter. Oh, he's trying to save him. That's cool. So, but I mean, really, he could probably get rid of this, right? Pretty easily. Ketamine kid. Well, he wasn't in a driver's seat, though. So. He could probably get rid of it. I mean, he's fucking rich, so this kid could be nowhere to be found. Take your fucking suit off. He's trying to save him at least, so that's admirable. This is a shit wedding. <laughs> it's a shit wedding, it's a shit hostile takeover. But like, also, Academy Kid was in a passenger seat. They're gonna know oh, yeah. that somebody was driving. 
I don't know if fingerprints still stay on in the water like that, do they? No. Mm -hmm. I don't. I could have taken your jacket off and tried to actually, because, like, man. I mean, even, I feel like it's. Saving that kid was going to be hard. He's it's too late. He should have kept it. I mean, he did. He tried. I wonder if there's any cameras from the castle. Le so I'm seeing they left together. Go delete the footage. Rather just hit that deer head on. Yeah. Speed up, if anything. Well, the guy, he pushed the wheel, too. Mm. Fuck, bro. You know what? You need your daddy. You should not be doing this hostile takeover. Nah, you don't need his dad. You need a daddy. I'm, God, what would you do? You're fucked. You gotta He's do literally something. fucked. His phone's probably in the water. Oh. This is this is a big deal because he's never been so directly involved and in kept fucking around. I give up on the hostile takeover. I think I'd be like, you know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> call the Scottish police. I didn't do anything. I mean, driving drunk is his only real crime. Damn. He's not even really drunk though. Yeah. He's so. not gonna report it or anything. Yes. Yeah, this is the crime. The, what has happened? Yeah. Not quite a you crime. Should, yeah. But he's a royal. You can't fucking. I don't know, bro. Like what was he gonna say? I was in the car with this with this kid. I was driving. He was on ketamine. Where were you driving him to? Yeah, I mean, but still could save save his life. There's yeah. a car. Hide, hide, hide. There's yeah. a car. You don't have to say like you're driving. Oh no! Hide. Hide behind the tree. You have to, bro. Yeah, but I'm sorry. Right, so like maybe they could have still saved the kid. Who knows? Who knows? He could have done something. That person has a cell phone. Like ah, that shit. He's just protecting himself. I mean, I know everybody's like probably like the kid is 100% dead, but still you gotta. You gotta try. And he didn't. He knows now, like, he's, this is, he'll never come back from this. Mm -mm. Mentally. <sighs> well, maybe least. now he won't do drugs again. He was clean for a while. Really? Maybe. Uh, this is good. probably the, the, the fucking adrenaline shot to your system you need it right here. See, all I can think about is how depressed he's gonna be about the fact that he let this kid die, that he's definitely gonna do drugs now. Just in case, we were rooting for Kendall in a way. Now he's committed a murder. In a way, what is it like the fourth degree? Yeah, this is like I don't. I'm really bad at this. Second I feel like it's isn't it like manslaughter in a way or like indirect. Um, what's indirect like killing? But like I don't. All right, so it was a car accident. Like I don't really think if you're talking about the law. Like no, I don't think he committed a murder. But like he's covering up a fucking crime yeah. and like that's bad. And not reporting. He let this it. kid die. Like and he's gonna get just found later. Yeah, not reporting it. Like all that shit's bad. It would be great if the kid lived somehow. Right, and he's just like Kendall Roy. Gave yeah. me ketamine, touched me cock, and then drove me into a <laughs> You touched me cock? <laughs> you touched me cock. Yeah, you left your phone and your wallet there, your keys, your wedding ring, a signed you signature of yourself said, I'm gonna go buy coke. fucking <laughs> idiot. Really? His wallet? Yeah, everything's down there. Dude. Nah. Damn. No, you gotta break the bottom part too, you... Dumb jag off. It's movies. Movies be doing this shit. Jesus. Have you guys ever seen Nice Guys? There's got. There's a hilarious window breaking scene in Nice Guys, and it's. <laughs> Watch so the do we go back it. and get our shit? Like, what do we do? I you look know. like you're covering up a crime. Don't throw it away in the garbage here, bro. You gotta take that back to America with you. What? The clothes? Yeah. Don't leave have any kind of evidence behind. You already did it in the car. I mean, if anything, you want to buy a new suit and destroy this shit thoroughly. Yeah, don't do it in, in Europe. Take it back with you to the States. I mean, like, if you know, I'm trying to destroy it in Europe. Bury it in a cloud field. No, somewhere, that's bro. stupid. You're leaving evidence behind. No. It's going to be ashes when I'm done with no. it. That's not evidence. It's ashes. All right, if you're burning it, that's different. Good song. Somebody's dead. There's going to be a detective who's going to be like, Kim Delroy left for approximately an hour. Roman told me. Oh, right. I don't think any of the worst of you. What? No. You know, even though his phone and wallet are there, they could say that the, the kid stole it. Stole it. There's drugs in the car. But even though he's still in the passenger seat. Where have you been? Look at you two. Hey, they were looking for you. Yeah. Yeah. They want to dance. You guys look great. They want to dance. Look at you goobers. Your daddy. Saw man die tonight. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. No, I thought they were gonna do the drugs. He was gonna sleep through the meetings. Well, this is gonna make Pat like him a lot. I wanna dance, dance with somebody. somebody. Oh, God. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. I wanna dance, dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Woo! Is it really?
really good. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you got against Whitney Houston, man? I was like, I'm what? talking to you guys. You guys are really what? Good. We sound just like her. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. With Red. somebody who loves it. me. You're speaking voice. <laughs> December. See, that was not nice. Oh, it's the next day. It's the next day. Why would it be on the news? Yeah, like it's just an accident. Check your iPhone, if anything. It's just just a phone search. <laughs> Same with your car. Do you know what that means? Yeah. I'm just making sure you're late to laugh. Oh, if you're just, joining us. I didn't. Laugh. I didn't understand why he would say it, but it's funny. <laughs> Thought he was laughing only because we were laughing. You don't think I know what a hymen is? Why don't you ask Chris? Because he laughed immediately, you didn't. I didn't think it was like hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Greg! Greg the egg. I killed a man hey. with my bare hands. Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, kind of a weird, weird vibe with the, uh, with the service folks, like the poppity people. I guess a caterer, huh. a guy like got in a crash and was high or like, nobody knows. You're the last one to see him alive. But the word is like the family, the family line is that we're not going to spoil anything. Right. Oh, good. You know? Good. Yeah. But uh, he, so, uh, is he okay? No! He, I guess he died. Of course, Kendall. You knew that. I mean, like... How's the scrambled egg? Has it congealed? How's that, how's that scrambled egg? It's been sitting there for like an hour. There's definitely cameras. That's the thing. There's What if he knows? God, he's the fixer. Carl, Carl knows you're fucked. That's not Carl. Is that Carl? No, Carl's. Uh, that's, his dad, that's his, that's dad's, his dad's bodyguard. Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. Same hard faced ass looking motherfucker. I just thought that was him. Yeah, because it's fucking footage. And I was going to tell you, you better not do this hostile takeover. What? No, this is all about the takeover. And Logan don't give a fuck about no. Some kid died. Or some yeah, shit. Yeah, killed he said a kid when I was 10. Yeah. said you didn't want to see that kid's fucking face again. Now no one will. He's gonna get away with it. I think it's just gonna He's be mental. He's definitely toll. gonna get away with it. Did you have an acceptable evening? Uh, uh huh. You know, I was up all night organizing my defense. Sounds like a game when he says it. I don't know if you know, but the caterer I had an issue with oh. died last night. Oh, that's terrible. Did you know? I I knew. I I knew because I, I I just found out. Mm mm mm. But uh, it's a it's a shock. Uh huh. Hmm. So, our guys, uh, one of our guys, found a key card to your room. Uh, he just... Uh, oh. What? <laughs> maybe he, uh, Stole my shit. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he, Amir saw you last night, rather damn. Oh my the god. The police here with Caroline. We just want you to check if you had anything stolen last night. Rather damp. It was raining last night. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe you should check again. This kid, I think he might have been a thief who broke into your room. They're covering the story for him. Off. They're literally covering the right. fucking story right yeah. here, right there. I know the guys. They know our guys. They're good guys. They're all so good guys. Let them know. Yep, they're taking care of it. Okay, right. But what are you going to do? Dad, why don't you get in my car and we'll drive you to the plane? And you can relax. Yeah, get you out of the fucking um, country now. No matter this extradition yeah, to the United States. They're, they're, that's it. Man, you, you owe your dad. They're stu yep. still going to hostile take over no. now? Nobody did anything wrong. And, uh, you know, it sounds like so. Mm -hmm. Yup, Dave. This is your dad protecting you. I did not think he would find out so quick. It's Logan. They play their games. We play ours. Is his dad protecting him? Yes, he I mean, is. he's protecting yeah. him, but he's also but being like, like for his he reasons. was going to lose the hostile takeover for sure, though. <laughs> he had him beat. Yeah. Tell Sandy you're out. Tell Stewie the thing looks like a shit show. Yeah. This is oh, what you yeah. get for being a fucking numb nut. You have not been yourself. There's nothing. I don't, I don't think um, I wasn't there. So this could be the defining moment of your life. A rich kid kills a boy. You'll never be anything else. Oh, you know, it could be what it should be. Nothing at all. <laughs> a sad little detail at a lovely wedding where father and son are reconciled. 
Damn, bro. Was it worth chasing that high now? No, absolutely not. Oh my god! Bro, you're forever his bitch now. <laughs> it's done. You're forever his bitch. Forever. <laughs> Jesus there Christ. Go! You need, on Earth. My boy. You need your. He's blah. You're my number one boy. You're my number one boy. Oh. Uh. I have Damn, I've never seen such like moves in power. Colin. He's like, take this crying thing. You cried like a bitch. Get out of here. And this is because protecting his name though at the end of the day. Logan. Yeah, right. Yeah. Protecting his that name. That guy's name's Colin. Colin. Yeah. Okay. Protecting yeah. like the hostile takeover. Protecting the Roy name. Protecting his name. It's nothing about you, dude. Lost again. Kindle this keeps is, taking this is L's, why L's, I L's, hate L's, 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 L's. I hate that, like, I mean, for this reason. But you can see how it was like an honest mistake. No, but like, why did you need to chase that? No. He and shouldn't have chased the high. He's a fucking addict. But right there at the end, I don't think Logan covered up the murder. I mean, look, he did because of the hostage. He used that opportunity no, he for didn't. sure. He used the opportunity. It's for the hostile opportunity. and to protect But them. also, it would not be good for his son to ever come out as a murderer it's either. It's all about his son. It's and all it, about he him. He looked a little sorry for him. I, 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 I sensed a touch of actual care there. Not saying that he didn't do it to, and manipulate him for sure to get out of the deal, but of course he wasn't going to go with the takeover now after this happened. But there was there was some tender moment there. I felt a little bad for Kendall. He's I don't crying. think he went back to crying to his daddy. Turns out he's a little boy after all. It doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, I feel he, bad for he Kendall, played him, bro. He played way... him with those words. And he was like, yeah, he's he's like, can you take this crying bubbler? Can you take this crying thing away? Again, he didn't play him. It was just like, hey, I covered up this murder for you. So and played and, him and, with and words. Lo- and that's, not, that's not playing it. He, he played him he emotionally with the situation. His wife. Playing him would have been like, I made sure that you fucking took this kid and like killed him. I'm saying he no, emotionally like, played him with words. Threat. It was either yeah. you're gonna stop the takeover or you're gonna be a murderer. That's basically what he was I don't, I don't even think he. Maybe it would have came to that, but I don't think he even presented it like that. He did it, and I think Kendall was just so thankful that. That I mean, happen, I'm, based off of what I know from Logan, he I'm said going, he did say like I'm assuming this that could it, be nothing or this could be a rich boy. Yeah. I'm yeah, assuming that him. if Kendall was like, no, I'm still gonna do the hostile takeover, then he'll just be like, you know, he has footage. Yeah, you know, I can, you know, how I can paint this. He already said their guys, no, my guys, they're good guys. If you wanted to bury Kendall, he absolutely yep. could. He could, and yep. in fact, yeah, not just bury him. His own son. Yes, yes. Completely. yes, he's done all the shit to his Bro, kids. Yes. Are you kidding me? He already he look. Has, no. He damn near put the crack no. pipe in his hand. I'm not saying that Kendall isn't worthy of his own decisions that he made, but literally he was like, Dad said I was running around out here doing drugs. He's like, I'm not doing drugs, I'm not doing drugs. And then eventually he's like, hey, Just like you think uh, when I think drugs. of season five of Buffy finale, I admire what you think of this finale. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, of course he gave him that, that ultimatum, it's but I'm like, it was right I, when he maybe said, I'm just feeling really bad for Kendall. And oh, I feel terrible for Kendall, yeah, but also Kendall. he did let the kid die. Y'all were yelling at the poor man while he was crying in his daddy's arms. Like, yeah, it, like so it much stupid sucks. shit. Kendall's biggest no, enemy. Season two, season, season two. two. Is himself. Yeah, Kendall's biggest enemy is the motherfucker standing in the mirror. He absolutely got blazed here. He could have won. He, he had won. a full on win had a going. Full on, and on yeah. top of that, look, I I know addicts. I get the whole entire thing. Not one, so I don't really get it, get it. But like all he had to do was sit the fuck still for that night. One night. Yeah, all one, one, one night. One night. One night. We could have bang lines it the night. And anyway, in the car, it's like a, in horror movies. You when, like, but like, it's like in horror movies when guys, someone's like, oh, let me finish. It's like in horror movies when someone's giving people like the advice, like, oh, don't go down that road. It's scary. It's dark. It's haunted. And the kid's like, oh, no, we're going to do it anyway. He had so many red flags in the car with this kid. The kid gets down and falls. He's like, all right, That's cool, not the same thing as addiction. Like when you're addicted, like you've seen Euphoria. I have. And that I'm is saying that he's still. Like he, he couldn't help himself. Yeah, it's his own fault. Fault, but like I feel bad for the man because he was truly fucking addicted and like he let his dad this. but not, not in this moment I think he's as addicted as the people in Euphoria also, I think like, that he wanted a high because his dad yelled at him exactly I think like but like that's part of you don't know but that's part of the addiction that's part of like the coping mechanism of I need to fall back on this one bad thing happens oh I had one rough patch I need to go to this nicotine alcohol ketamine whatever the fuck your vice is like that's that is like one of the things that people do when yeah. like they have something bad that happens to them or a minor, even a minor inconvenience throughout the day. I agree with both your points, but like even Stu is like sit down for the night. He, all I have to do is sit down for the night. He let his dad get to him on the most like, you know, this is like the biggest product, the biggest movie you're about to freaking do and you let your dad get to you. Plus, I know the addiction is a factor in there, but like Kendall was this close to like everything, 
everything. It was a sure win. He even said to his, kids, his siblings, like, I know for sure this is going to win. Like, yeah. 1%. Like, there's no rhyme or reason. He said, undoubtedly. Like, undoubtedly. he had it. He like, had a checkmate, and he was celebrating. He was counting his chickens before they fucking had, hatched. And on top of had that... Logan in the toilet on the floor. Right? The addiction definitely does play into it, but he's still stupid, and he's not... A, he's made stupid decisions, and he's not a dumb person. Just like he fucking... I'm not of, absolving him from it. I'm saying I feel more bad because of his addiction oh, wow. it is his own problem everybody like, sucks help, kindle's my I mean, favorite and i do feel bad for him yeah logan also kind of caught him back into that by like, like putting all out those of fake stories and like making it so he did turn to the fucking meth heads <laughs> into the crack pipe shit and then what's his name the stupid stewie guy is like here take this coke to celebrate already like enabled him some yeah. more obviously he's gonna go right back to you know and even celebrate and i don't think that uh stewie's trying to keep him coked up like as uh because it's Stewie it's knows obvious. his limits. Yeah, he, yeah, didn't, yeah, want, he think, didn't want him to do it right then. Yeah, the, and like the thing, like I don't. Shit. I was thinking that Stewie was trying to like at first. I was thinking he's trying to keep him on drugs so that they could use it like later or for whatever with him and Sandy. But the thing is, is that I just think Stewie likes to do drugs, and he is enabling him. He's like he's doing drug buddies, but Kendall is the one who takes it too far. Like I got friends I like to have a beer with, and a lot of those motherfuckers take it too far. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's like, oh, you don't think about it in the moment. It's like, oh, like you're fucking yeah, enabling like your head. Yeah, Stewie has control. Up. He's like, oh, yeah. I'll oh, so he's in control. And control. I'll, I'll take a drink, and then I'm done. And Kendall's like, oh, I'll do a line, and then I'll do. Nine right, I'm trying nine. to stay up all night. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to stay up all night, and then so fucking bang us up. So many things I thought were gonna oh. happen. Like I thought he was gonna do the ketamine. I thought they were gonna go find a coke, and he was gonna fall asleep. I didn't like. So many other didn't scenarios. Didn't expect the kid to die. Die. So like, all right, Kendall did not go to the finish line. Roman let a launch happen happen too soon, just for the fuck of it. You idiot. Exploded. Exploded. People lost thumbs, almost an arm. Connor uh, wants to be fucking president. I don't know why that pisses that, me that's, off. That's, even that just more. like makes because we live it. That's the thing. We live Con it. We Connor. See, we know rich. We we live in a society with rich people. And we, we see live what, in a society. We live in a society. Anyway, <laughs> and then lastly, lastly, I don't know. I feel like maybe Shiv and Tom are the only ones who came up on top from the truth and everything. Yeah, she said what she said. Yeah, he did whatever. But like, he still kicked Nate out, and they're good. Mm. Looks, it seems I don't know like if they're good. They're yeah, they didn't talk about they're good. good. They didn't even talk about what anything. they are. Like, like they were like broaching the conversation. Like, all right, let's lay out like what this is now. Yeah. Love is a sack with twenty six different things in it. What are the things? What are the things you guys are keeping in your sack? They just fuck out of How do we fix? Basically, this? my interpretation of their conversation right there is she doesn't love him like he loves yeah. her. For yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's he's done. He's done now. Like, if I were him, if I were him in that position, I would be like, okay, fuck you. Yeah, but there's plenty They're of married. other marriage to being married to. I mean, they have any, like power. they can get well, a that's what I'm saying. So. They, that's he. Yeah. I would stay in it for the money. Cause yeah, she's that's like what. Fucking he has power rich, via her. Right? He has like, yeah. so much power. And I really think that here in the room, Kendall had everybody fucking pegged. He's like, you couldn't get a job anywhere, fucking yeah. Apple baby. You were like the power to get you closer to fucking Capitol Hill. And then what do you even say about Connor? Oh, Connor just like just the, like, the, the glamorous in a delusional yeah. world. You're yeah, it's like in the desert, and it's like it's. They're all yeah. right. I wish Kendall, he's dressed himself, well, they have dressed him down before. And like, yeah, like Kendall doesn't, he's a fucking addict and he thinks he's got it all under control, but like he buckles under all that fucking pressure because I don't think he's meant for this shit. I don't think any of them are meant for this shit. They're not because they he's weren't trying, raised to be meant yeah. for this shit. They were raised to be cowering in front of their dad. Yeah. yeah. It feels so wrong just like shit talking about all these people, but like it's a show. I just Ken wanted to Kendall say, I think, is one I think of my we're going around a little bit, but Tom, I think, does love Shiv. I don't think, even after that conversation, no, no, no. He's I think Tom still, still I'm not saying, is absolutely yeah. love with Shiv. Yeah, don't but think like, Shiv uh, loves him the same way. No, yeah. No, he's, uh, whatever they have, it's going to evolve into maybe hopefully more of an understanding. I was glad of what he did to Nate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck Nate. Yeah. Nate was always annoying to me. Yeah. But yeah, you mentioned the framing of this shot. Oh, it's crazy. So good. good. Like you can see every single one of their mm -hmm. characteristics in just the way they're posing here. Connor thinking he's fucking big, tall man. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'm going to run for president of the United States. Uh, Rome just sitting there like, you know, he's always the kind of relaxing, slouching, but he's also like looking down. Because he, he lets some shit explode. Yeah, and shit. That's what I was going to say. No, arms no, no, folded. No. Fucking... Just, yeah. Connor, if you don't let Will in this picture, I'm going to take off my shirt and take a dump right here and stick a... What do you say? He's going to punch Tom in the face. Also, everybody really shitting on her wedding. Be like, it's not about the wedding. It's not about the dress. Like, all of them each told her it's not about yeah. the wedding. She's just like, I, on, on all of these days, I'm like, shit, shut the fuck up. It's not about your wedding. Like, <laughs> wild. Just wild shit. I will. I, I like Greg. Greg made a, a, a nice play. He's always making moves. Um, Rome's it's, whole rocket plight was so funny, though. Hey, who's got both his thumbs and his arms? Yeah. This guy. <laughs> oh, I, I thought that I was so funny. Had, like, 
I'm so sad that Greg gave him that information and he didn't take advantage of that. But he could have won. He, said he had yeah. everything he needed he to win. I, but he know he knows now. At Maybe least. Greg will be the one to take over everything in the end. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see Honestly, that. Honestly, Greg's gonna run the whole operation. I can see them mm. going for something like that. He's he's gonna at least make it out of this thing the best oh, out of all sure. the characters. Yeah. Like, so that'll be e- the best arc. Uh, Evis. Who? Evis. What does he say? Evis, the president. Uh, is Gil? Name, isn't it? Gil Evis. And his last name, Evis? Gil uh, Stillman? Like Gil. His last name is Gil, I think. Gil. The Bernie Sanders type. is Evis? That's a first name. I don't name. know. Regardless, I Gil. I thought his last name was something um, men. They were going to, he was like, we're going to need the political power with Gil and all that shit. They were about to, it was a, it was going to be a good fight. And I do think Logan was going to lose, bro. Like, I do 100%. think Logan was going to lose. 100% also. The only thing stopping Kendall, the only thing is himself. That's the worst. Ah! Oh, I know. Solid plan. Solid. Everything. Execution was going to be flawless. Is... And you fucking shot yourself in the foot the well, night before. Twice. I wonder what like, the rest yeah. of like the seasons are going to be about now. Like, what the fuck is actually going to oh, happen? Them trying still to take trying the to throne. Take over, it's, yeah. it's Game of Thrones. Every, it's, every season is yeah. about the throne okay. still. I wonder if this like whole thing will come back to bite all of them in the end, this kid dying. Or maybe it's, it is just going to be nothing. Let's cover it. What did uh, the show us that how, how rich people get away with all this stuff. What did Tom say? Tom's not even rich like them. He was yeah. like, I'll hire a man to break your knees. And if I go to jail, <laughs> which I won't. So like, be it. So be it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Tom's not even their kind of rich. And Tom and was like, so, I'm not. Yeah. Tom's like, I'll, I'll pay people to break your knees, but I'm not going to jail. Like, that's just that's just a literal fact. And like, these motherfuckers are actual, but he's not going. They there. own the world. Just That's imagine it. that. They if he goes to jail, world. it's because he wants to go to jail. And let's be honest, it'd still be a really nice fucking jail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the thing where I was getting upset with about Nate but before we get to the end is just that like, I understand that Nate fucked up and Nate's a piece of shit. I just, I can't imagine debasing yourself like I pouring like, the wine back right yeah like that's like the left yeah right you can't just set the wine down and, and left. And left. Tom yeah. was like pour, pour back in there and he's yeah. like I'm not, I'm not like, drinking now do so don't make wine. a fucking mess oh my god <laughs> yeah. like I, at one point in time he was just like I could just leave yeah, like you, exactly. <laughs> yeah. it's like when someone tells you to give yourself a wedge and you're like but I could have just walked away why am I doing it she's like <laughs> told me to I have to yeah I agree I would have just put the cup down put the wine bottle down and Tom left. hypnotized him bro he yelled at him so hard he just swung on the pilot <laughs> so I'll do it Tom please I'm not yeah, drinking I hate that, that wine, guy's face <laughs> he's like what a shame he's like I just wanted you for for 15 minutes to concentrate on me for a change like that one episode yeah, last yeah. episode oh, it's yeah. like what are you doing? It's the <laughs> wedding, okay? Be a fuckboy, at least off wedding or ground. Or bring a, your own date. I'm sorry. If I'm going to the wedding and a I, girl I'm fucking, I'm bringing a date? Yeah. yeah. That's Just because he's cute, Nikki. Doesn't absolve him from he's being a fuckboy. He has freaky eyes, bro. Yeah, he's no, he weird kinda, he's BJ like, Novak type. He's like white yeah. Rami Malek. No, don't don't even do that. <laughs> no, Rami Malek is more handsome. Well, Rami Malek no, is more they, they got yeah. the weirdness. With the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't talk about Rami They Malek. both feel like there's somebody behind you and they're looking at you. And you're, <laughs> <laughs> why are you looking like that? <laughs> that is a good description. Like, if I were to look at that guy, what do you what? <laughs> what? What? Who's there? They you guys are like know. describing Sid from Ice Age. Stop. Um, I want to watch the, this like two minute thing, but the, I'll watch after the discussion. The the speech is really really hurt me. I couldn't. That, that that was like the most cringiest of cringes. I only like the mom speech. It's like until they remarry. Again. Yeah, everyone's all laughing. Like, ha, 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 ha. actually, Tom's Tom's toast was good. Roman's yeah. Roman's was kind of funny. Like, yeah, <laughs> Roman was just why is everyone himself laughing? Too. Yeah. Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> what was his social person? What was it? Borderline borderline personality, personality yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we'll see you guys. No, 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 no. We're watching this one thing. Oh no, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah we we'll did it. Off. Oh, oh, oh. I'll watch Bye. 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 What's up, my money normies? Thank you for watching another episode of Succession with us. A big shout out to Anastasia, Alencia, Jack, Matthew Taylor, and Joe Mags. We'll see you guys next time.